Welcome to another episode of Mic Out. This time I wanted to demonstrate how to start a fire in a fireplace with nothing but the wood for the fireplace, a knife and some means to produce that initial spark. And I will use a ferro rod, but you could use a lighter or matches or some other means to produce that initial flame. But you need to have the knife since uh, the method I'm presenting here involves producing feather sticks on the logs that we will use in the fire and these feather sticks will act as the kindling so uh, there's no extra kindling here no newspaper no waxed paper or some other fire starter just the wood for the fireplace and a knife as you see this knife is uh, not that big it's an Enso Necker made by the Finnish company Enso and the handle is actually made by yours truly, so uh, this is one of my favorite knives. I'm pretty happy with the result, but it's, uh, it's a very small knife to produce feather sticks in this kind of wood. Uh, this is very hard, very dry birch wood, ideal for making a fire in this kind of fireplace, absolutely. But uh, just to prove the point, I will use this small knife to produce these feather sticks since uh, this method is actually, I mean, it's not very hard. It's very easy to produce kindling just by having split wood. But uh, yeah, if this would have been a round log, then this would not be possible, really. You would have to split it somehow. And uh, yeah, having a split log, you obviously have these sharp edges here that would uh, be great to produce this for, for the sticks. So let's get started. So what I would obviously do is to uh, start in a corner where I split, so I would produce feather sticks in, in all of them, basically. And if something falls off, then I will just place it in the fireplace someplace, you know. Yeah, this kind of knife is not really... Obviously when we have uh, birch bark we will uh, peel some off and use that as kindling. Notice that I don't ram the knife into the cardboard since I use my knuckles as a stop. So if I go off the edge here I will just knock my knuckles into the cardboard. It's not maybe the best way to do this but yeah it works. If uh, we would have had a lighter or some matches to ignite this stuff we would have been done by now. But since I will use a fire steel to ignite this, I would want some smaller stuff. And then I take the back or the spine of my knife. The bevel here should be a 90 degree angle on uh, the spine. So I turn the knife around so the, the edge of the knife is out from the wood. And then I use the back of the knife to scrape produce uh, this fine material and you can do this for a while and it's good to have uh, a fair amount since it burns out pretty quickly and uh, the sparks they pretty much land randomly everywhere so if you have a pile of this stuff it's we we'll catch these sparks a lot easier I will do this uh, any, any, uh, in any situation where I don't have any you know, birch bark or something else that I can use as kindling. So having some of this fine dust stuff here. Uh, this dust here 
would catch sparks and ignite this stuff pretty easily. So the way I would set things up in the fireplace would be to place a log in the back with the inner side of the split log facing out and in the middle here I would put the, the rest, the leftovers of the feather sticks uh, to act as kindling together with the birch bark that came off the logs. And then I would just continue with placing uh, another log with a split inside facing in so this would be a pretty good reflector that would build up heat and uh, ignite both the logs. Then I could continue by placing something in the middle here whenever we get there and uh, we'll have basically two slots here that will produce a nice wide warm fire. This will burn a bit longer than your normal kind of teepee fire. So uh, yeah, that's the one I prefer to use in a fireplace anyway. And having this kind of uh, dog here prevents the logs from rolling out. So that's how easy or difficult that was and uh, this fire has been burning for a while now and I've had another log so uh, when you get here you can just add one log on top of the other and you have yourself a nice fire that you don't need to attend very often for the evening. So I mean maybe this method took a lot longer than using newspaper or cardboard or this kind of special waxed paper that used to light fires in fireplaces. but. Still, we took a log, processed it to make feather sticks and lit the fire in, in less than 10 minutes. We didn't use any other kind of kindling, uh, just the feather sticks, uh, beside the birch bark then of course, that was already on the, the logs. So it's, uh, it's a pretty simple method, I think, and uh, it required a bit of an effort, of course, with that small knife, but if you would have a more appropriate knife for the task, then uh, this would have been uh, yeah, somewhat simpler to do anyway. So that's it. This has uh, been another episode of Mike Out. I hope you enjoyed it and uh, please comment and subscribe and uh, until next time. This is Mike out.